Welcome to the post game press conference. We are with the winning head coach of the Raiders, Shine Canasto Painters, Coach Kaloy Garcia. Coach, first of all, congratulations. Second, you had a cancelled game, a postponed game after that last loss. Did it give you extra time, perhaps extra time to rest and prepare for Barangay Ginebra leading to this good bounce back performance? Well, probably yes, because uh, the game was Sunday and the game was postponed. And I just told the players that since the postponed and Monday's practice, we had to up and down from it. As in preparation for the water, we had to up and down from it. We came to practice, so we had to go up and down from it. Just for preparation for the water game. Coach, Gabe Norwood had a lot of time trying to defend, staying in front of Stanley Pringle, the quickest guy on the floor. What does it you know, tell you about the kind of condition that he is still in at this stage of his career? Well, first of all, I've never seen Gabe not be in shape. Uh, he always, uh, he, I think he works out on his own. His body is always like, in good shape. And uh, basically, it, it wasn't only him. It was more of uh, everybody who took turns with Stanley. We just kept on switching because we know how good Stanley is. But uh, I think the advantage, advantage of Gabe over other players is uh, he played internationally. Coach, the last game you lost, it was Rey Nambata who missed the layup. In the regulation, it was Rey Nambata who sent you to overtime with a triple. How much trust do you have in this young guy and how willing is he to take those big shots? Well, uh, like I said, Rey is a different type of player. Uh, he's going to be the future of the game. He's the first time eventually. Uh, he likes that position that we take those shots. Um, you know, he hit another big shot for us to get to the overtime, but like I said, it's a team effort. It's not only him that we're looking at. I think other players stepped up today. Go. Uh, being the leader of the team, probably this is his best game I've seen play. And uh, where goal goes, we go. He's probably one of the best big men in the PBA. He knows how to reach the beast to the ball. And, uh, you know, he's been working really hard in practice and trying to show the rules to the rookies. So, again, that actually is bubble for us. It's a lot of people who don't have a lot of people who don't have a lot of people. I just hope that it's just like, remind the players to just enjoy it. Because I'm going to have a lot of fun. Let's now welcome our Zoom caller, starting with Mr. Jonas Terato. Coach, good evening. Congratulations. Thank you. Coach, I'm going to ask you a question for you. Moving forward, daw big ko wings list lang do na na sa gitna na pare ng ano eliminations. Well, uh, you know, it's very hard to step in team. Maybe can happen. Um, today we're lucky that we were able to win the game. But you know, we can easily be one four. You know, we were all our teams are close, so that tells a lot about the uh, players. Every game, you have to prepare. I said, you have to be able to do it. You have to be able to do it. You know, we just give it a time of two hours of practice, two hours and a half, but we do most of it. And like I said, we have that piece of the bubbles, probably us to think of it. Hey, Coach. Thank you, Sir Jonas. Next up is Ms. Lynn Olavario. Hi, Coach. Did both talk to you about, did both tell you about your inspiration, your motivation, he said in the uh, best player interview na he was uh, motivated to prove a uh, fact wrong kasi may nang pati ko sa kanya. This morning, did he talk to you about that and your thoughts on um, an inspired or motivated bo leading the team? Well, uh, I didn't talk about that. Uh, you know, uh, when you know, pati ko sa naman ng fans, it goes down to the board, it goes 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 to the board. But, you know, it's basketball, it's part of the game. Uh, Olympics are always correct. Thank you, Coach Kaloy. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, next question is from Mr. Ray Goblin. Coach, uh, for, uh, for, for the most part, eh, you like, don't dominate the game, no? Uh, tell me something about what you feel in time that 
yung ginedro kung hindi ko pwede nakakakuha sila ng ano, ng momento Well, playing uh, Ginebra ever since, you know, it's always one of the best days in basketball. Kasi parang if you beat them, maraming tao na nabot. If you lose against them, you know, it hurts so bad. So, you know, but when we were up and then we came back, we were never seen that time. So, I just kept on trying the best not to stop doing what we were doing right. And, uh, you know, we were able to grab the lead because we close and push on part of the game. But up there, you know, we really hit a big shot and it's the overtime. So it's all part of the game. Next question is from Mr. Ruben Dorado. Sir Ruben? Coach, si Gabe Norwood, um, not that, um, hello, hello, Carlo? Hello? Go ahead, Sir Ruben. Okay. Coach, Gabe Norwood had a big defensive play, parang, ano, parang, yun nga, dumadang. Paano kung meron kay Gabe lately na, yun nga, medyo, parang very energized siya? Well, uh, like I said, when you play in Ginebra, it brings a different energy. Uh, it's not only game, but I think the nice thing with Gabe is he can play multiple positions, he can match up with the quickness of our bigger guards, he can match up with the bigs. So, it's a big advantage having a game for a in the team. But like I said, it's not only game, it's the whole team itself. Thank you, Sir Ruben. A follow-up question from Mr. Ray Hoblin. Coach, but Bo Bergan, we all know see Bo Bergan loves to play against Ginebra in the crowd, no? But without the live audience, do you think it has become more of an advantage for Bo? Well, like I said, Bo is Bo. Many of us, uh, you know, he, he plays so hard against certain things. But uh, the only thing that we need from Bo is his leadership. So, kahit na sabi mo na marami tao, he actually Bo loves the crowd. So every game here, parang disadvantage nga sa kanya. Kasi gusto gusto niya na may mga tao na sinisigawan siya. So, dapat nga sabihin ko na sa mga player ko, sigawan mo na lang para ganaan. But I think, like I said, playing in Cinebra is always uh, going to be fun. And everybody wants to play against Cinebra. One last follow-up question from Mr. Jonas Terado. Uh, coach, um, pag, normally pagka yung, uh, yung line-up, yung sa deep ng line-up ko, makakot ng debut, malaki chance yung manalo. Ang goal ko yun si Pag Borbolan, tapos simula si Chris O'Sanis. Chris Coach mo lang doon, performances yun. As much as possible, we're trying to get everybody involved. Um, today, uh, I think I only used maybe Anthony Bonner, Jeff Lee, and Sarupi You only played a few minutes. Um, I didn't want to gamble that today, and uh, I used more of my work for that today. Even James Shaw played on their minutes. So, like I said, as the season, as the conference progresses, iba iba yung makikita ng regala ko kay Shepre. Pero bago ko pati man, she wanted everybody as much as possible to be in game shape by the time probably makes that you win the next round. Kasi dito ko lang pwede magpa-condition. It's the only time there's two tuna beans, no nothing else. We don't like scrimmages too much since it's probably my mission. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified with our latest videos.